Madison, uh, what's it been like for you? I mean, going from high school to the SEC, you guys are about to hit it full-fledged, uh, the transition. Uh, has it been easy? Has it been difficult? Just kind of describe that. Uh -huh. It's definitely been an adjustment um, and, and a big a big adjustment for me um, going to the SEC, playing in high school, you know, here, you know, it's very competitive, you know, everybody's mindset is different. Um, you know, they don't accept anything less than your best, you know, here. So it's definitely been an adjustment, um, but it's been great having my sisters with me, my teammates. Um, they've been amazing. Um, the way that they've kind of, you know, brought me into this and just nurtured me along the way has been absolutely amazing. Without them, it would have been a lot tougher than it has been. But I know that, you know, when I have a bad practice, they're there. When I have a good practice, they're there. You know, when I do something wrong, they're there. You know, they're there to encourage me and pump me up as well. So I know I can always count on them as, as well as the coaching staff. You know, so it's been it's been great. I wouldn't have won it any other way. Being a five-star prospect uh, and so highly recruited, you shocked a lot of people around the country when you decided Ole Miss is where you wanted to continue your career. Um, just, just kind of put into words what Coach Yo did differently, what Ole Miss had to uh, offer you as a player, and why you ended up in Oxford, Mississippi, when you practically could have been anywhere in the country. Yeah. Um, Coach Yo is just different. You know, she is different. Um, Coach Yo is simply, like, phenomenal. Um, the way that she talks to me, you know, what she expects from me, you know, she keeps it real with me. You know, she, she always tells me the truth. She's always honest. You know, she believed in me. Um, throughout my process, I came, out, I came across a lot of coaches, and they were great as well, but it was different with Coach Yo. You know, I felt it was genuine. I felt that um, this is somebody who truly, truly believed in me and didn't think that my dreams were, you know, too far-fetched or I couldn't get there, I couldn't get to where I wanted to be. You know, every day, if I don't do what I'm supposed to do, Coach Yo is there telling me, like, you said you wanted this. You know, you want to do this. She holds me accountable, and, you know, without her, you know, I, would, I wouldn't – be, you know, doing what I'm supposed to do in a way. Like, she, she, she makes sure that I'm on track to my goals. Um, I remember when I came on my visit, and um, I just had the meeting with all the coaches, and it was my player development meeting. And the way she broke down my four years here was incredible. Um, their, their goals for me, where I would be as a junior, where I would be as a sophomore, you know, what I'm supposed to be working on each year was the best presentation I had at any of my visits. I actually saw myself here, you know. I, I, I felt that I had that gut feeling that this was the place for me. And, you know, I ended up shedding a couple tears because, <laughs> I, you know, I really felt like, you know, this, is, this, this was the place for me. So at that particular point in time, after going through player development and just building a relationship with Coach Yo and the rest of the coaching staff and my teammates, I, I knew that this was the place for me. All right. It's probably unfair, but, you know, your reputation as a very talented player proceeds preceded you here at Ole Miss. Uh, do you feel any weight of that in terms of uh, your viewed upon as a program changer? Um, yeah, I, I definitely feel some weight of that. But, again, I have my teammates, you know. They, 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 they are here to help. You know, I know that my job, you know, I know what I have to do. I know that I have to come in and just contribute any way I can any given night, you know. And I know that while I'm doing so, my teammates will be doing the same thing. It's like I, I, I know that this situation is, 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 is different, you know. It's going to be uncomfortable for me coming in, and I know it's going to be an adjustment for me, you know. I'm, I'm realizing that, I understand that. But, again, I know what I have to do. You know, my teammates know what we have to do. We all have a common goal. We all want to win, and we're all willing to do anything in our power, you know, to get there together, you know, the whole time together, pushing through any adversity, overcoming any obstacles, you know, we're in this together. Thank you, Madison. Thank you. Hey, uh, Nick Suss. Are you in here? Yeah, Madison, just kind of going off of that, um, what is it about this school and Coach Yo and kind of yourself and your teammates that make you think you guys can turn this around and go from a team that didn't win any SEC games last year to, to being an actual contender? Um, I think that we're very hungry, and a hungry team is a scary team. Um, I think that we would do just about anything to, to, to be successful, you know, to be great. Um, and, and again, that's, that's, that's why I came here. You know, I'm around people who literally will not, not accept anything less than, than me being great. You know, it's important that you have those type of people around you. You know, you want to surround yourself with people who are great and who have that mindset. So I feel like this year with this team, you know, um, and yes, I wasn't here last year, but, you know, I, I knew a lot of players on the team and stuff. And 
But this shit, this team, our mentality, after practice, we're huddled up, we're talking, we're texting the group chat, we're, we, we are really alert and we're really focused on our goal. We all have tunnel vision, you know? So again, it's not gonna be easy, but we are willing to do anything. We're putting in the work. Today is the first official day of practice, you know? So we're, we're really gonna do everything in our power to, to give our best self each and every day.